What's up, guys? Welcome to another episode of the DMG Tech Show. I am your host, Jonathan Parkinson. And in this episode, we're going to be talking about uh, the two Acer Chromebooks. Now, on the left-hand side, I do have an Acer C710. On the right-hand side is going to be the Acer C720. It is not touchscreen, however. Uh, the far left one I've had for about a year now. Uh, this one I just got in about three days ago now for testing purposes. I'm not sure if I'm actually going to keep this device or go to another one. So far, I do like it, though. I will say that. Uh, on the left-hand side, this is going to be 400, or sorry, 4 gigabytes of RAM, as well as 320 uh, gigabytes of hard drive, or exactly how much that is. Uh, this far right one is going to be 2 gigabytes of RAM and only 32 gigabytes of hard drive space, or SSD space. And that's going to be, uh, but the thing is about this one is it's going to have the newer Haswell Intel processor as well as this is going to be the old Intel processor. So that's really what I'm doing the testing, even though this does have more RAM. So, you know, statistically, it should work faster and smoother. Uh, the fact this is running a little bit, you know, more uh, upgraded uh, chip CPU, this is going, it has a chance of, you know, keeping up, even though it doesn't have quite the, the amount of RAM for exactly what I'm doing. So in this video, I'm going to be doing a quick test on just kind of showing you this stuff, as well as I'm going to uh, get installed uh, Crouton, which is Ubuntu, on this as well. And then I want to run a few things back and forth, maybe do a little bit of Steam gaming on both of them. And that way I can see and show kind of everybody, you know, what the two gigabytes is versus the four gigabytes and if there is really a noticeable difference, if it's worth going back to the older devices. Uh, the reason I say that is there is only one other four gigabyte to my knowledge as of this moment, and that is the HP 14. And that's going to come out a retail about $150 more than this one right here. Uh, this is retailing for about $199 currently. I'm not sure exactly how much these are retailing for these days. Uh, it is about the same price. I think it was $229 when I first got it, $249, somewhere around there. Uh, but again, this does have a bigger hard drive, uh, more RAM. So do, do keep that in note. And it did come with the RAM. I didn't buy it and then install the RAM later on, which a lot of people do do with that Acer. So I just want to keep that in note, what we're going to be doing here. Uh, the first thing you're going to notice with everything is actually going to be coming down to the chargers. Now, this charger on this side is going to be the charger that comes with the C710. And this charger right here is going to be the charger that works with the uh, C720. Now, they both have their pros and cons. The con for the C710 is the fact that everything's going to be based off of this, which can be kind of an Achilles heel. Uh, the reason I say that is for anybody that's a traveler and you do feel like you want you know, to travel the world, in order to get the plug that's going to work and the adapter, you're going to need this piece. So you actually have to go out and buy that piece. Whereas the... C720 is going to be running off of this, which you just simply need to change out this one part. So as you see right there, it's pretty a common size. It's pretty common for a lot of people. And I know that when I do finally move over to the UK, which should be happening in a couple weeks now, depending on when I get that passport, uh, it's going to be a lot easier for me to make this change. Now that's being said, another thing that's a big noticeable difference is the fact that the ports are going to be on opposite side as far as charging. On the C710, it's going to be the right side. On the C720, it's going to be on the left hand side. As well as the C710 does come included with something of an Ethernet port. Now, if you are, as well as the uh, VGA, if you are a big uh, fan of Ethernet or you do need that, if you're an IT tech or any of that type of stuff, it's probably going to be best if you stick with the older Acer models just because of that Ethernet port. And the Acers are the workhorses when it comes to Chromebooks. There's no question about that. Uh, other Chromebooks come close, but other Chromebook manufacturers seem to be more focused on battery life, portability, as well as a little more style. Uh, the Acer doesn't look as flashy and as stylish as some of the other Chromebooks, but again, it is the workhorse, and that's kind of why I think it has that look to it. And again, I'm, I'm more focused on what's going on on the inside, not necessarily on how, what color gray this is, or if it's white or black with a little blue trimming on it. That's, that's neither here nor there for me. Now, coming back to this, you're gonna see on the C720 is we're gonna have our 3.0, uh, USB 3.0, our HDMI, the plug, uh, the audio as well as um, audio in and out. So if you wanna record your voice or listen to the music, that's where you're gonna put your headphones. On the other side is gonna be the SD card storage, the USB 2.0, uh, the lock, and that's about it. You will notice that it's a little bit different color on here than it is on the original one. And it doesn't actually have a removable battery at all. Like there's nothing back here to do any removing. So do keep that in note. Uh, when you're coming over to the Acer C710, you're gonna be notice on the opposite side is where you're gonna have the plug. Uh, there's the lock as well. You're gonna have two USB 2.0s right there as well as the headphone jack, as well as for the audio. 
Uh, on the left hand side you're going to have the Ethernet the, uh, for the VGA, um, the HDMI, and then you're also going to have a USB 2.0. This does not have a USB 3.0 on it whatsoever, so do take that a note. Uh, putting them next to them side by side, as you can see there's a noticeable difference on the grayness there. Uh, the size of the actual devices, uh, you're going to notice that there's a little bit more groove right there. Uh, it is noticeably about the same way it's made, just a little bit lighter as far as you know actually feeling it in your hands. Um, also, it's definitely a lot cooler on my lap. Uh, I've been running this for pretty heavy now for a year, like extremely heavy, probably heavier than most users are using their Chromebooks. And it has been getting extremely hot to the point where I'm questioning whether that fan needs to be replaced inside of it because it just it does not feel like it's kicking down the coolness of it. This, however, hasn't even gotten close to being warm. Again, I've only been doing it for about uh, maybe three hours now, four hours. I've actually had time to play with it, so it's a little bit different. Uh, as far as the screens for these devices, uh, you're going to be noticing one thing. This one actually looks smaller, and what I've come to realize is the actual screen is dropped a little bit lower than this one, whereas this screen is kind of raised up a little bit. The actual whole back screen is just lifted just a little bit, whereas this one's tucked in more. So it has the effect where if you look at it, it looks like it's a little smaller, the screen, but it just feels like that. Uh, also, this one has a little bit more of a brown tint to the actual, uh, we'll call it the warm. This one has more of the bluish or the cool tint to it. Uh, so this is a little easier on the eyes. That one strains my eyes. I do wear contacts, so I'm, you know, I'm pretty knowledgeable on the actual uh, sitting in front of a computer for over seven hours, eight hours on a daily basis. It, this one already feels better to my eyes right away. Uh, keyboards. Uh, keyboard. This one has more of a, I guess, pop to it, and that might be just because I've worked that in a lot. Uh, this is going to be the traditional Chrome OS keyboard. This is going to be a traditional old school keyboard, or I guess Windows or Mac, whatever you want to talk. And the reason is, is you're going to have uh, a delete key on the top. You're going to have a caps lock that can change over to the search, which this only has the search, but you can go in the settings and turn that into a caps lock if you'd rather do that. Uh, on the top right hand, there's not going to be the delete key. It's actually going to be the power button, whereas the Acer C710 has its power button by itself, <coughs> excuse me, by itself on the top left hand corner. So that's a big difference when it comes down to the actual uh, layout. Uh, I will take this as a note as well. Uh, this little piece right here is just a smidgen bigger. And believe me, that makes the world of difference when it comes to a writer. The one thing I've kind of griped about this is my wrist just barely hangs over the edge right there. And it's enough to where I'm making, you know, five hours, ten hours of typing, uh, doing any type of editing. It does come into effect where I've noticed that. This has been a lot easier for me just to rest my hand onto, and it just it doesn't have me, doesn't give me that like little uh, strain on my wrist, which is good for carpal tunnel later on, to protection of that. So that's pretty much how that's going to work here. Now I'm going to go ahead and zoom up. I'm going to get everything set up, and uh, we'll go ahead and skip this. So I'll cut this part out.